The Long Haul Podcast, America's Irish Voice. Interviews with inspiring immigrants, renowned Irish personalities, and discussions on all things Irish America. Presented by Michael Dorgan. On this week's podcast, I speak to Paddy Mulvihill, who last week managed the New York College's team to their first ever championship win at university level when the team captured the Corner McLean Cup in Ireland. Paddy looks back on the historic win and discusses the importance of the silverware in the development of Gaelic football in New York with all of the panel made up of American bar players who came up through the county's underage ranks. Paddy's backroom team were joined by Mead football legend and Graham Garrity for the tournament. Garrity, of course, was involved with the team last year when they were managed by Paddy Curtis, with Paddy being the team's trainer this year. I recently visited Dubai and grabbed an interview with Stephen Toomey, the former chairman of the United Arab Emirates County Board, as well as Dubai Celts manager Ross Oates. They both gave me a great insight into how the GA is run in the Middle East, so keep an eye out for those interviews next week. I started off this interview by asking Paddy to reflect on the team's successful week in Waterford. Oh, it's great, Michael. Like, you know, um, it's great for the lads. It's all about the lads. Like, you know, like... They've come up through the minor board there from under sixes all the ways up to, to this grade. Like there's a bunch of them there that are on the, that panel that won the fail in 2017. And then they went to the semi final the year after. Like I was involved both years there with Sean Pice the first year when we won it. But a lot of the most, a lot of the other boys have played fail as well. Like, but there's a big drive there for them. Like we were, we were pretty confident coming. We weren't overconfident with a couple of injuries, but like, they went very well in training and we can't complain. The weather was great in New York, you know, for training. We, we hadn't a cancelled training session comparing to last year. They had to cancel some like with snow and everything. So we were lucky. Everything went well. A couple of injuries, but that's football. Do you know what I mean? It was great. Though. It's all about them, as I say, like, you know, it was brilliant for them, like, you know. And hopefully it'll drive them on a little bit more, do you know? Yeah, the two wins were a very impressive party. The, in the first game, of course, you went down to the wire, went into extra time and you just uh, edged it in the end. And in the final, you appeared to be in complete control for the most of the, most of the match and uh, ran out winners there against uh, Mary I. We got a massive start, like, you know, um, went up seven, eight points, could have gone up 12 points, do you know, but... Uh, then they came back at us and they like we we totally lost our shape and I think it was all mentally down to the last couple of minutes. We never gave up. We we knew they could hold it, like you know. And then we got a great goal in, in extra time, which sealed it. But um it was a great finish. It was nerve breaking all right there for the last maybe second minute into the extra time, but um they showed composure and they just they just pulled it out like it was great like you know it would have been devastating if we lost it but we were pretty confident on the line that they were going to keep keep going like they were fit like you know and it comes down to your bench in in everything right now you know five subs came on the the guy that scored the goal was a sub that came on you know yeah the five of them that came on played massive stuff in that in the role that they done you know what I mean energy big thing like you know but it was great for them like you know. It's 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 massive for them, like you know, as young lads, like you know what I mean. And in the final two, it was a, it was a good win there. Um, Brian Cockden was like uh, very prominent in the senior championship last year with Sligo. He got a great goal, showed some great strength there, and very very strong. Yeah, he's very strong on the ball, very composed. Like you know, like our backs played very very well in that game, though. Like in the final, like they shut them down altogether. Like they were putting up big scores, like that Turles team all along. Like you know, to hold them to six or seven points, that was massive. Like you know. Like our backs played serious stuff. Like our tackling was massive. I thought in that game, like we were we were under control. Like in that game for the whole game, I thought up to maybe the last ten minutes there, there was a bit of pressure on us. But I think I think we were the better team on the day. You know, they they really played well. Even though a lot of guys were carrying injuries, like you know, going into that game, it's not easy to recover from the night before, you know. But they showed their fitness to good man to Paddy. We, we got to give Paddy his credit there, you know. And 
and Seamus, the physio, like massive work there. He done that night, like you know, putting them into ice baths and wrapping them up and getting them ready mentally and physically, like you know, which was great. So, and uh, what was Paddy's role this this year, Paddy? I know he was manager last year, and you kind of took over this year. And Paddy's been doing some some uh, has been doing the training, has he? Yeah, Paddy would be have been the main trainer. He took all the training sessions. He done all the training from day one. Like it's a massive commitment for somebody that doesn't have a young fella involved in it. You know what I mean? It's a massive commitment three, four nights a week. Like you know, but he was there in spirit. We're just like you know, so he was. Yeah, and you're you're saying there that he doesn't have a young fella involved. You do yourself, and it must have been very proud, to, proud feeling yeah. to when that final whistle came. Yeah. Yeah, a great moment, like, you know, yeah, he's only 18, going on 19, so he'd probably be one of the youngest on the panel, like, you know, but done his job, played well, great, massive, massive achievement, like, for him as well, and for me, you know, and, like, there's a there's a lot of people, Michael, that we got to thank on this, like, you know, like, going back to um, Wexford, Wexford County Board, um, what they done for us, like, we played an under-20 challenge game, like, against them on Wednesday night, which was a big game for us, like, you know, to see where we were at, like, you yeah. know, like, we know where we were at, like, you know, our biggest problem is games, like, you know, you know yourself over, like, this time of the year, it's all shut up, like, you know, games are a massive part of it, like, you know, and they should, they, we learned a lot in that game, like, you know what I mean, and then we played um, St. Peter's College there um, the next day, which... Thanks, thanks to them, like, you know, they put on a great performance for us, everything, like, I, I don't know how to thank them, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it's massive, like, you know, like, to be welcome into that, the Wexford County Board, what they've done, Michael Michal and all that stuff, like, you know, um, there are too many people to, to mention in it, like, you know, yeah. in that part of it. And, like, I got to go back to our own management then, like, you know, Mick, Sean, Marty, yeah, will you go go through? Will you go through the backroom team there, uh, Paddy? Just the the full names and like yeah. where, where you're all, the clubs you're all from as well. Yeah, so uh, Mick Healy there. He's from he's from Rockland, like he's the Rockland club. Um, Marty would be a selector as well. He's the uh, Baron of St Brendan's, you know. And then we had uh, Sean Pice, which was our tour manager, um, which was great. He done a massive job in it. Got a little bit of help from inside, all right, like what's massive, massive work trying to organize all that stuff. Then Petty was the trainer and um, done massive work, as I said already there. And then we had Graham Garrity down with us there. And um, I guess a little bit of experience and a little bit of confidence, you know, he brought to the, t- the panel, like, you know, which was great as well, like, you know. Yeah. And I guess that's that's the panel. That's the, the management and then you, you go to a massive part of it, which is our sponsors, like, you know, like without them, you're going nowhere. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's when you come home here and say you're raising that kind of money, they, they get a big shock. You know what I mean? But you got to We got to praise them people like, you know what I mean? For, for what they have done, like, you know, yeah, I mean, for fail everything like, you know, it's a great relief to the players to not have to worry about trying to generate funds to go over like isn't it exactly yeah there's a lot of pressure off and off of them like on that side of it but it's massive for all these companies the way they kick in and believe in it like do you know what i mean it's great so is there probably too many to name at the moment because i know there's always oh there's too many uh, like if you start if you're <laughs> going to miss somebody and i don't want to be come back to new york we'll put up an image there at the end of the podcast uh just yeah you that that uh, flag there, that um, that uh, banner that we made up, like yeah, you know, I saw like, it. Like it's it's massive for us, like do you know what I mean? But it just shows, goes to show, Paddy, that there's a there's like the GA is live and well in New York. There's companies are winning to same with the herders who went home there in January. Like there's there's great enthusiasm for for New York teams, like and just to push push the county on to go that step higher every year. Oh, yeah. And like it's it's massive for the community, like, you know, to keep involved and you're meeting people, you're having the crack. And yeah, that's what it's about as well. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's all about friends at the end of the day, you know, and like this Gaelic Park, we got to thank them, like, you know, for getting in there, Joan and all the, the senior and minor board, get them in there, like for getting us organized and getting us into Gaelic Park in the evenings. We got in there, you know, um. Big credit to them as well. Thank you. 
Look, it was great to see Graham Garrity back back with G uh, this year, Paddy. I wasn't sure. I know he was involved last year as well, but it was great to see him. Like you could see his passion. He was on the podcast with us last year. He really felt the connection with the lads. And they were unlucky in the semi last year. I think it was a point they lost by. And then to come back again and to be there with the lads, it must have given them an awful boost as well. Oh, massive. Like, you know, like he's great fun. He's great crack. Um, I think he wanted to come on corner forward there in the end, but uh, he said we'd hold him. To- <laughs> but, uh, he, he's great fun with him. He has the crack with him and yeah. they all love him. Like, you know? Yeah. It's all about that as well. He used to keep oh, himself yeah. and Paddy separated, though. I'd say that's why Paddy didn't channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there'd be a bit of pants for all right, but you can't beat that. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just look at the, 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 the two games in particular, uh, Paddy. Like, I, I like, obviously, I, I know lads who played, watching them at Gaelic Park, playing against them, but they look to be a different level in terms of strength and conditioning, particularly in that final. The lads were at a, like a level that they just seemed to be that bit, that bit bigger, that bit more more conditioned. Would you think the same? Yeah, well, they're still a very young team. Like you know, like average age is like um, I think the oldest fellow on the team was twenty two. So the average age would be twenty, like you know, nineteen twenty. So they're they're still very young. But all these lads are taking care of themselves now. You yeah. know yourself. They're all going gym themselves like we didn't do a lot of gym work like you know we, we just done physical running training ball work that kind of stuff like like where we're caught is just that little bit of football you know yeah. like playing games is the big thing but they're all all the kids are in gyms themselves now like you know taking care of themselves like and they did take care of themselves like like i, I don't think anybody complained at training or anything like you know there was a a great vibe from them like you know like they wanted this, like, you know, like, and our, our big word was success, like, you know, it wasn't about winning it, it was success. And that's what we brought, like, you know, like, that was our big word from our tra- day one training, like, success, we need success here. And that's what they've done, like, and they all bought into it, I think, like, you know, like, nobody came bitching and moaning to us, like, about anything, you know. So that was great, like, it was very positive from day one, like, you know. And the same with the backroom team, our backroom team, like, like, we had chats and picking teams and disagreements, little bit disagreements, but then like that, that's healthy. Like, you know, when it comes down to management as well, like. And so it was a Thanksgiving. You got together for the first time party. Get, uh, and uh, from there you were training. It was it 30 sessions? I heard you mention in the interview after the match. Was that about right? Yeah. So we started on Thanksgiving. We done one session then, and from there on, we had something like forty three, forty four that came first, and then it weighed down. And then we made a decision. Then, like last year, they let it go later. We made a decision. We picked the panel by the twelfth of uh, January. So we had from Christmas till I suppose the twentieth of January was our biggest time. Like all the kids, all the lads, we call them kids, all the lads were home from college. So like we put in a massive effort over the Christmas, like, you know, pushing. And then we picked our 24 okay. up to 12 then. And then we had a couple of challenge games, which we brought in a couple of stronger boys from different clubs came down and helped us out, just came and played games against all us. Right, like, okay. you know, that That's where we got our in-house games. Like, you know what I mean? So like, I got to thank those guys too, like that that came in, like had, had nothing to do with it, just came over and played. We done three or four of those games, you know, which was great. Yeah, you know? that's always the problem, particularly with the seniors, as you know, like trying to get those challenge games. And did you play any game against? The, I know the seniors were back training in January. Did you manage to play against no, them? No, we no, they were late or coming in, but no, we didn't play them at okay. all. We got no game. No, no. There's a couple of those boys on the panel, all right. There, there's three or four of them on the panel, on that panel, on that senior panel that that'll be there. But hopefully, a lot of these boys will push on to the juniors now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Got to be a big push for, you know, and try and bring them up to that level, and then keep pushing them up to the next level. You know, yeah. that's what it's about. Like, and how many lads do you think will be getting on that senior panel, or will be training with the senior panel over over the, the coming weeks? Well, there's two of them right now. That's all that's that that's in it right now. Um, the rest of them will be very hard from college, you know. Like they're they're away, so yeah. like it'd be hard to commit to it. Like you know, yeah. Like um, there's Mikey Bile there and uh, Kevin Rafferty. They're they're on the panel, so they're local in New York. So yeah. 
they'll be put into to, to, to that to, to that panel like you know excellent so in terms of the the players on the, on your panel how many did you did you cut it down to did you say was it, how many was it cut it down to 24 it started at 40 yeah. 43 was the, the whole number of all players that, that all right, committed okay. to it and then it went down like you know boys dropping off and like we used to have 34 35 training a lot of the time in there up to the 12th of January like you know yeah. mm-hmm. and um, so what's the club profile then of the players where are they all who are they playing with so like Rangers had um, is it six six or seven on rain from Rangers um, uh, four from Rockland uh, Barnabas had five or six as well Shannon Gales had five or six so it's fairly well even balanced you know yeah. what I mean like it's not it's not dominating in one club, you know, which is a great thing as well. Like, you know, yeah. like all these bikes will be hopping off of one another for the rest of the year. You yeah, know? yeah, it's yeah. A big great, you know? Like, and that's what it's all about, yeah. like, you know, but they're, they're all friends at the end of the day. Like, you know, like they'll go on the field and they're walking off there having a, a beer over at the bar afterwards. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's all about it as well. And as you say, they would have played together the whole way up. A lot of them, wouldn't they? They would be familiar with, with each other. They're all familiar with one another, how they play and everything. Like you know, like they're they're all up against one another. Most of them are up against one another from under sixes up. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the majority, you know, they they all know. And now they're all playing junior and senior football, so they're all playing in the park against one another. Last year yeah. and the year before, you know, they all know their tricks and games. You know, so yeah. they're they're a great group, though. You you got to give it to them. Like they're a massive group. Like and and. It's all about the group, like, you know, and the bond, like, they'll remember this forever, you know what I mean? Yeah, as you say, it was a historic achievement, first time ever in New York have won, like, a, a college tournament at that level, so what is the impact of winning this for the New York uh, GA going forward party? Well, I guess it's a, the big thing is believe, like, we we got to believe that we can move up another step, like, you know, like, are we going to ever get to a senior Connacht final? In reality, that would be, you're not going to do that. Like, you're not playing enough football, like, you know, yeah. over there to do that, like, you know, and, and to keep them combined in, like, like some of these kids, like, are four and a half hours away, like, in college, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, to train them and bring them back, it's not feasible, like, you know. Um, yeah. Like, pushing up to junior level, I think, is, like, you know, um on to senior, you as you say, like what you brought up earlier on about strengthening and conditioning, like we're we're not at that level, do you know what I mean? Like the at the county teams here, like yeah. you know, like Irish Americans. Uh, like the it, the ambition would be there, but like is the reality there? I don't know. Like, you know, that that that's the way I would think. But like this is a stepping stone for them lads t- to move up to to junior level right now and go from there. As I say, they're still young, like they're only like most of them are only 20 years of age, like, you know, so yeah. it's in the next four years, hopefully we'll see something and these guys will be coming back from college then hopefully and they'll stay in New York, you know, and yeah. you might be able to put them on from there when they come to 25, 26, like, you know, that'd be the big, you know, but keeping them involved and playing is the priority right now, like in Bill Gilly Park back up again, like, you know, to senior level again, like, you know what yeah. I mean? But it's it's definitely everything seems to be moving in that direction, doesn't it? Everything everything that's oh, stepping yeah. stone, it's like everything's yeah. moving forward. Well, I guess COVID was the big thing there. Like, you know, like it, nobody was coming out, like, you know, the, yeah. and it was all Americans who were playing, like, you know, in the last couple of years, yeah. like, you know, all those, like, you know, junior A finals, junior B finals, senior finals. Final course, back. yeah. And like, you know, yeah. Like, so it's massive, like, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Polly, tell me a quick bit about yourself. How long have you been out in New York and uh, what do you do? I'm in New York 30 years, so I do a bit of construction. Um, Myself and my wife, Carmel, Carmel Ahern, she's only down the road from me here in Bell Lamford. And I have three kids, Um, Christopher, which was playing, Tegan, which is an older daughter, and Kate, which is a younger daughter. So I'm out there 30 years and... I played a bit of football with Kerry and that stuff, you know. You you won a county, day, yeah, so. you won a county with Kerry, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. I won three with Kerry, won two juniors with Kerry. Three, three uh, seniors yeah. with Kerry, right? Three seniors with Kerry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
which was great. Great times back then as well. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, great yeah, yeah. So I were, the third year would have been in the 90s. When did you win the, the counties with, with Kerry? Was it the late 90s, early 2000s? Yeah, late 90s, yeah. Um, 99, we won the double. The, we won the, the, the senior a senior B force, and then that time it used to go up onto sit the June the senior B team used to go into the semi final of senior A's. Okay, and we went on that that year like Paddy Connor now Paddy Cartney there from Kerry was training them that time like which was great. In in the two the early two thousands we won a couple and then we lost a good few in the two thousands as well to Leitrim and Donegal and that stuff like yeah, they yeah. were strong. That. Mm-hmm. And what position did you play in? I played corner forward, corner back, uh, wing forward mostly. That that was my most mostly possessions. Played wing back a little bit, but mostly in the forwards. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what club were you involved with in uh, in New York? Is it Rangers or Rockland? Sir? Rangers. I live in Rockland, but I am involved with Rangers. I lived in in Yonkers okay. there for twenty five years. I moved up there five years ago, so okay. I stayed with the club. I stayed with the bunch of boys that I I, yeah. I came through with. To, I get a little bit of heat about it, but sure, <laughs> that's all the fun is by like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you'd have a you'd have a good uh, close relationship with Paddy, like obviously with with the with, with Rangers so over the last couple of years. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I have a I have, I have a lot of conversations with Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. He's, he's unreal to the lads, like they love him. He's training the Rangers like you know he brought him to a couple of finals there in the last couple of years like we had great success there in the last couple of years so we yeah. had underage from underage up like you know what I mean yeah from 16 uh, June or B we have to push on now and win June or A try and get up to yeah win the seat next couple of yeah. years <laughs> I can see they have great time for him as well like they're, all, they're always mentioning him like so um it's, ah, it's yeah, good yeah. that he's mentioned and you, you gotta sh- you gotta show the, the PC sports there as well Paddy. <laughs> I have it. I have it. He'll only be texting me. He'll only be yeah. texting me about it. <laughs> I should have worn wore the O'Neills. He'd be giving out to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, fantastic. That's all good. Man. So, what happens next year? So, party with the the team? Do they stay at Carnival Glen level, or do they go up a level, or what's the plan? No, you'll stay down at that because, like. <laughs> Traveling back and forth, like to play in the other competitions, would be okay. financially feasible, like you know. So they'll they'll stay there. Like there'll be probably seven or eight them lads, like that'll be gone next year. You see, because they're seniors. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they won't, like you know. So it'll be the younger lads coming in again, like you know. Yeah. So hopefully push on again, like you know. But there is good football coming into it. Like like there's probably another ten guys that were unlucky that never. That didn't get on it, yeah. like you know, but that's the the reality of it, like you know. And it's yeah. fantastic too that it, it's fantastic. It was streamed as well, party. And just for people who are listening, I'll just put the links of the two games on the on below this oh, podcast. But it's that, great that everyone could see it, and you could see the live comments coming in uh, alongside people, you know, friends, family, relatives. They're putting in their comments, but like it's great to, for everyone back home in New York or wherever just to to oh, watch and keep up with it. Oh, massive for them, like for everybody, like, you know, like, like from the word go, I said it to Sean, like, we got to get these games streamed, like, you know, yeah. we won the fail in 2017 and we never taped it, you know, we never got a tape of it, like, you know, which, yeah. which is a real disaster when you think about yeah, it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Back and, but these guys will be watching this and everybody will be watching it for years to come, you know what yeah. I mean? So, massive for them, like, you know what I mean? And when did they, when did they fly back home, Paddy? Did you go back home or did you stay in Ireland, did you? No, I stayed here in Ireland. I went back Sunday morning. So we went back up to Dublin and uh, Saturday evening and we ended up in, in, in copper. So it was a good <laughs> night Saturday, Saturday night. Like, and uh, we got them up then to get to the airport. They had to be at the airport at 8 o'clock the next morning. <laughs> so there was a lot of rough heads at that stage, but they, they, all, they all showed up. Sean Price <laughs> is a lot to answer for, for booking a flight at 8 o'clock in the morning, doesn't he? Jesus, the tour manager. <laughs> Well, that was a smart move by him because he was afraid probably if he left him around they have to be they'd be gone to the air again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he Sean was the only one on the flight come back with him. So myself, Mick and Marty stayed around. So All right, okay. They had a good night on um Sunday evening. They were in Rory's afterwards, had a bit of a meal, some of them and 
I think they went to they went to the, the recovery room as they call it, Clarks down there for the training <laughs> session going up down there after. So I'd say they had great fun. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say five the recovery, but <laughs> Clarks recovery. <laughs> Very good. I'm sure they were well welcomed uh, up on McLean Avenue there for a the couple of days. Oh, I'm sure they were, yeah. I might have been better off if I didn't go back. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, probably. Fantastic. Well, Paddy, That's it. is there anything else you wanted to add there? No, I think I think I covered it all, hopefully, there. As I say, the sponsors, the Wexford crowd, all that stuff. Waterford IT, I suppose, the, the college. I, I didn't mention them, their facilities, like his... Is unreal, like you know. Um, they say there's no money in Ireland. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, but yeah. all good. Fantastic, fantastic. Paddy, thanks very much for coming on the, the podcast, and uh, best of luck for the season ahead. Are you involved with Rangers now for the for the summer as well? Yeah, we'll be involved in juniors there, and hopefully push up to the seniors at some stage. So hopefully okay. we'll, we'll push on up in this year. I need to. Uh, who's in charge of the the college team next year? Has that been finalized? Yeah, that'll all go down to the finals next year. So we won't worry about that right now. All right, okay. <laughs> is is that how it happens? Is, what, what, how how does how is it selected again? I think pa- uh, Paddy had said that to me that it's the winning team. Is it gets... whoever wins the U twenties championship? So like that club then can put forward whoever they want to yeah. put forward. So fantastic. So, won it with the last two years. So yeah. Paddy was last year. I was this year. Okay. So perfect. For but any. Uh, any of those clubs could win it you know like it's it's the uh, Danning Gales could win it Rockland could win it Barnabas could win it you know any of those clubs could win it so that's, that's it very good fantastic party congratulations to yourself on being the first manager to bring home that silverware and congratulations to the lads the backroom team and everyone involved uh, everyone in New York is immensely proud of you and uh, hopefully it's a stepping stone to even bigger and greater things for this group of players Oh, hopefully. Thank you, Mike. Oh, you New York girls, can you dance the polka too? And that's all for this week. Let us know what you think by leaving us a comment on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at The Long Haul Podcast, or visit our website, thelonghaulpodcast.com, where you can find plenty of New York GA stories and match reports. We would appreciate if you could rate and subscribe to the podcast. This would ensure that we can get even more episodes to you more often. Slong of all, and thanks for listening. And when we got inside the house, the drinks were passed around. The liquor was so awful strong, my head went round and round to me away. When you sat in the street, my dear and me, for more you used to yap your little can you dance the polka to me away? You sat in my dear and me, oh, you knew your girls, can you dance the polka?